This is part one of a six-part video series exploring the chemistry of wood ash. I have re-edited this part of the series to add narration and shorten it up. The more interesting chemistry is in the parts following this one. In this video I show how I extracted the soluble compounds from the wood ash. First I collect the ash from the remains of some sticks that I had burned previously. Here I am going to remove bits of unburned charcoal and other debris from the ash. Now that I have finished cleaning the ash of debris, I bring everything inside to a more comfortable environment. I'm going to use a large plant container for this next step. It is important to have a container with a hole in the bottom to allow liquid to drain out. I place some filter material over the hole to keep the ash from escaping. I use a couple of rocks to help hold the filter material in position over the hole. I set the plant container on top of a bucket to capture the liquid as it trickles through the ash. Now I transfer the ash into the plant container. I have prepared a pot of boiling water using an electric hot plate. I will pour the water slowly onto the ash. I am wearing a pair of heavy rubber gloves to protect my skin from the hot pan and boiling water. I quickly refill the pan and place it back onto the hot plate. Although you can't see it in this video, I have another hot plate to heat more water on another bench. This helps get the job done a lot faster. You would think that after adding all of that hot water, there would be some dripping out of the bottom by now. I stop to take a look and I am surprised to see no liquid coming out yet.
At last I have saturated the ash and liquid is dripping out. This liquid should contain the soluble compounds from the wood ash. I let it sit a few hours to drain and cool. So this is what I have extracted from the ash. It looks a lot like strong tea, but I bet it would taste awful. At this point I am not convinced that I have completely extracted all of the soluble compounds, so I try a different approach. I remove the wet ash from the plant container and place it into another bucket. Here I am just adding some clean tap water. I stir everything to give it a good mixing. I have allowed it to sit overnight and hopefully all of the ash has settled to the bottom. I observe that there is some scum floating on top, so I try to remove as much as possible. I set up a funnel with a coffee filter in hopes of getting a clean solution without any solids. I soon discover that the coffee filter clogs up quickly and becomes unusable, so I switch to straining the liquid with a cloth. This turns out to work much better. After it has been through the cloth, I try the coffee filter again, and with some patience I finally get it all filtered. I was able to dip out most of the liquid, so at this point I don't think there would be very much soluble substance left in the ash. Here is what I was able to recover and I will be using this in the upcoming videos that are part of this series.